we had Amendment 4, Hometown Democracy, which failed, okay? A lot of money went into trying to defeat that amendment, which basically uh, said that any, uh, any change to a local growth management plan had to be approved by all of the voters at the local level. And amendments five and six, which had to do with congressional and legislative redistricting, they passed, which will have a big impact on the redistricting process. Were any of you surprised about that, and why do you think that happened? Mary Ellen, let me, let's go to you. Well, you know, I think that one of the underlying themes in addition, you know, this election is a little bit of distrust of the institutions in power. Um, and I think that that amendment kind of, the, the redistricting amendment kind of said, yeah, these power, powerful politicians, you know, we had, a, it was an anti-incumbency mood. It wasn't just anti-Democrat. And I think voters said, yeah, they, they are carving these seats in a way that's benefiting them. That's not good. And the, the, the pure language on those amendments, people didn't read more than that. Um, and it just said, you've got to do it in a way that's nonpartisan, you know. And, and that's why they passed, I think. It, it was just, it was a it logical, the, the logical result for a lot of people of where, where they're feeling.